Hey, what's going on internet? Josh and Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use a color checker to easily color correct all your images and see how fast it really is. So here's a clip of a shot of the color checker. And um, you pretty much have to do this for every lighting setup is to get a shot of the, you know, of your color checker. And DaVinci Resolve offers four brands, um, all with different layouts, um, but I have the X-Ray color checker. Uh, which is fantastic. Anyway, so basically the first thing, um, you know, to really get this thing started is to make sure you're on color match. We'll go up to our viewer window uh, and click on color chart. And this will bring up a chart uh, that we need to just, you know, properly put over our color chart. And we'll go ahead and just line up the corner. So, so these squares are perfectly into the color squares of the color chart. And then once that's done, we go up down to configuration. Um, you got your source gamma, and really you should figure out you know what your camera shoots at. Mine's you know Rec 709, that's fine. The target gamma, I want to set it to uh, BMD film. So well, you, pro you probably want to experiment with some of these things, but I'm going to set mine to Rec 709. Um, and then I'm going to click match, and that balances out our image you know right off the start, and that's really awesome. Um, and you know everything's pretty much even, so it's pretty much flat and white balanced, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, but the color temperature here is you know making it a little bit yellow it's not perfectly white balanced because we shot this at sunset and it's kind of what it should look like actually it probably should set the color temperature to maybe 4000 um but i want a perfectly white balanced image so really you have to play around with it but i'm gonna set this to 9000 and i'll click match and it's pretty close i mean it's a little bit more blue but i like this sort of look and also if we check the uh, white level box um and then we click match it'll automatically kind of brighten up our image and expose it properly but I need to set this to point maybe eight and then we'll click match actually maybe point seven yeah and that's pretty good because then we have you know some room for contrast and then I can always re-expose the image so once that's done um, I'll right click and say grab still and then I'll go over to our other shot without the color checker and I'll go over to our presets right click and click add correction and that will uh, just give us what we did in the other shot. So we can reapply this correction for uh, you know every other shot like this. A tip to follow when you're shooting outside during sunrise or sunset, um, you should probably get a shot of the color of your color checker every 10 minutes because the lighting is constantly changing. And every time you change your lighting setup when you're shooting in a studio or anywhere inside, um, get make sure you get a shot of the color checker when your lighting changes. Um, but with that said, um, this is pretty much all set up and you know ready to go. We got a completely flat image. So now it's really easy to work from here. So you know I can easily you know add contrast. You know if I wanted to raise the gamma up and the gain a little bit. Uh, you know and then easily you know mess with the color wheels and get you know certain looks. But this isn't a color correction tutorial. If you want to learn my method of color grading, uh, you can click on the screen now. Um, I use about 20 nodes to color grade, so it's a really in-depth tutorial if you want to really get into color grading. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a question down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, any requests for tutorials, let me know, and um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys soon.